Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeardGeekNation.com. Today, we're looking at kind of a new release from Dogfish Head. Always hesitant to say that um, because for me, I'm just not a big fan of their beards. I think more, I think they do too much with their beards. I think they try a little bit too hard. But the base, well, let's just talk about what we're reviewing today. This is the Oak Aged Noble Rot 9% alcohol by volume. It's essentially a Saison with grape must. Um, that has, I guess, a little bit of brett in it, and they actually age it in oak tanks, whatever that is, for a year. I guess they have big oak tanks that they just age this in. Um, the base beer of this was actually one of my favorite beers the Dogfish Head has ever brewed. It's a fantastic, fantastic Saison. Uh, just enough white wine kind of grapiness, but it's super dry, super belgian -y, very, very kind of subdued for Dogfish Head. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. So when I saw they had an Oak Age version out, I just picked this one up at the local store. I had to pick it up. It was $14.99, which I don't think is too unreasonable for 750, 9% uh, alcohol by volume and Oak Age. So let me get into a glass, let you guys know what it smells Taste. Give you the final verdict on the Oak Age Noble Rot. All right, guys, the aroma. Wow, yeah, definitely getting the white wine characteristics. A little bit of funkiness, a little bit of tartness, a little bit of a vanilla characteristic, some oakiness, some very fresh oakiness in there. Yeah, but it smells like a really nice Saison. All right, guys, the taste. Cheers. Oh, it's nice. You know, it resembles more of a triple than a Saison. I think ABV wise too, it's kind of on that triple level. Really dry in the front, immediately followed with a big kind of grape juice uh, sweetness, not cloying, not overly sweet at all. A little bit of phenolic note, a little bit of an oakiness, those white wine tannins really, really coming through. The bright kind of almost citrus oaky flavor playing off the grape juice flavor really, really nicely. Dry in the finish, very, very dry. A little bit of tartness, a little bit of funkiness um, in the finish as well, but it works really well with kind of the sweetness from the grape must and the oakiness from the barrels. Uh, 9%, it goes down really easy, not getting a lot of that alcohol. It feels like a much bigger beer than it is, but doesn't taste that way at all. It really, really, it's a super complex beer that they really kind of narrowed down, honed in, and just absolutely nailed. It's awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Oak Aged Noble Rot, limited release, 9% alcohol by volume. Pick it up if you can, guys. I'm gonna give this one an A minus. Probably one of the best dogfish head beers I've ever had. It's, it's, it's very subtle, it's refined, it's absolutely delicious, uh, which is hard to find lately in dogfish head, dogfish head beers. I think they just, they just go so crazy with some of their flavors and over the top of their ABVs, and they just nail this one. It's dry, it's tart, it's a little bit funky. You get the wine characteristics, you get the barrel characteristics, you get the Saison characteristics. Everything just works really nicely. It's just an absolutely pleasant beer to drink. Um, and that sounds weird saying that, you know, a pleasant beer, but it's just really, really good. And the more I drink it, the more I kind of get out of it. Um, and it just, it's, it's really great. And I, I love the base beer and the oak aging really took it to the next level. So getting an A minus for me, remember folks, life's too short, drink amazing beers. Cheers.